So I picked this up at Goodwill today. This is a York's cassette radio uh, bedside clock um, unit. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so for those who don't know, you're probably wondering where the heck are the speakers? Well, that's easy. If I can get them out with one hand, I can show you. Oh, damn it. I wish I could. I was hoping I could do it with one hand here. Is there a lock on the bottom? Hmm. Anyway, they're back here. But they fold out. And, uh, I'm trying to freaking do it with one hand and it's not letting me. God damn! Hold on. Jeez, I'm crow, that was a pain in the ass. And there we go. There's the whole thing. Unfortunately, the belt for the cassette doesn't seem to be working unless I can't play it in off mode. So I guess I'll figure out right now, because I pushed play and nothing happened. Oh, good. It was only because it was in off mode. Good, so the cassette player works. Or at least it looks like it works. So, I don't even know how this thing sounds, as I never actually haven't actually tried it yet. That's the dimmer switch. Uh, let's see, tape AM FM. Did we not get anything? Oh, I hear it. Boy, it doesn't get very loud at all. Oh, yeah, it does. Doesn't pick up much. Somewhere down the road you might get lonely. Keep me in mind. That's kind of cool. statute itself and by it doesn't pick up much I don't even know what the antenna is unless it's built in but not much that all right I'm gonna get a tape so we're right back Oh my god. So either the belt needs to be replaced or the motor is just running slow. Yeah, that's slow as hell. Either that or it's never been used and the thing is fucking weak as hell, but I don't know. But that kind of sucks. I was hoping it would uh, be perfectly good. Yeah, damn it. Alright, well. So, alarm, auto, off. Alright, well. I'll have to check into that. But, anyway, only paid six bucks for it, so. Yorks. I don't even know what the, what the model number is. Now, uh, it's got pins in the back to hold the speakers. I'm probably sure I didn't hit the switch when I was trying to release them. I don't know if there is a switch in the back to release these. It doesn't look like it. You just pull them out. But. Hmm. Doesn't seem like you should. It's good to pull them out like that, but, uh. I don't see a switch to... Yeah, these don't move. So, there's no switch, you just pull them. Well, that's not cool. That would probably break the plastic. Oh, jeez, there's still a battery inside. That's definitely done, because the clock was at 12 when I plugged it in. So, that's done for. They're... Date? 
No, I don't see a date. Oh well. Alright. That's fine the battery's still in. At least it didn't pop or corrode or anything like that. But the model is not 1850. Yep. York's model blah 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 blah. There's your serial number. So yeah. It's a cute little thing. It's too bad the tape deck is a little slow. But um, yeah. Alright, well. I guess that's that. Later.